Welcome to Culture Wire. I'm your host, Meg Schiffler. On this episode, we're going to explore what it means to be a Chicana in today's society by paying a visit to the California Institute of Integral Studies, where the exhibition Chica Chic is currently on view. Guest curated by Raquel de Anda, Chica Chic features an array of artwork by five leading Chicana visual artists that address a range of themes such as gender equality, immigration, sustainability, and education. Using a distinct visual approach, each of the artists responds to the shifting needs of their communities in ways that offer new perspectives and multiple points of entry. The vision for the exhibition is really to bring together the voices of a new generation of Chicana artists, all of whom uh, reference the, the work of the artists of the Chicano uh, um, Civil Rights Movement in their work, but they are also responding to the new cultural concerns and new sort of cultural circumstances. The works in the show include a large canvas by Ana Teresa Fernandez depicting a woman washing the beach with her hair at the U.S.-Mexican border. The painting encourages the viewer to engage with the current debates over immigration and the politics of women and labor. Influenced by the art-based campaigns of the Chicano Civil Rights Movement, Oakland artist Faviana Rodriguez is a printmaker whose work tackles health and sustainability within the immigrant community, as well as other current socio-political issues. Angelica Muro's print-based work, The Louis in Vuitton, draws on appropriated agricultural worker manuals and high fashion labels to satirically address class issues, cultural identity, and consumerism. Angelica, she has drawn, her father was a, an agricultural worker, and so she has drawn a lot from the materials that the agricultural department sends to agricultural workers, um, referencing the depiction of farm workers and some of the information about, um, about toxics, about the you know, pesticide application. Mitzi Avila Ovayas combines a variety of media, including embroidery, to create artifacts of Mexican, Chicano, and American pop culture. Shizu Salamando creates immensely detailed drawings of celebrities on the same platform as her friends and family. Her work combines elements of Chicano portraiture and lowrider art rendered in a Pano art style, or intricate drawings on handkerchiefs often associated with prison art. Her portrait of three girls is among several original posters by the exhibition artists, which are on view at various BART stations as part of a public campaign funded by the National Endowment for the Arts. From the outset, curator Raquel Dianda felt it was important for the exhibition to have a public art component so that the work could reach the widest possible audience. More than just a promotion, the posters connect the work of these powerful artists with new audiences, including the vital Chicano and Latino communities. Images from Chica Chic can be found in BART stations located in San Francisco, Oakland, and Colma. You know, it's, it's inordinately exciting for me personally, and I think for the institution. I think I, the, the posters first went up right after New Year, and I remember very, very vividly the moment I walked, I'm a regular BART rider, and when I walked into the BART station and I saw the first poster that I had seen, it was, it was incredibly exciting. And, but it's, it's very satisfying to know that through the BART campaign, we are in fact reaching a broader audience and they are responding, they're coming to the show. It's terrific. For more information about Chica Chic, visit ciis.edu.